Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna be filming another one of my mom's recipes, her Italian or Tuscan soup. I am gonna be doing a little bit more of a vegetarian take on it by using vegan sausage rather than chicken sausage. Um, otherwise, everything is pretty much the same. So I am doing this to help support my mom while she takes her website and converts it into her first ever cookbook. So I'm going to link her YouTube channel, I'm going to link her website in the iCards and in the description box so you can check out lindaloohamill.com or Let's Dish with Lindaloo on YouTube. But yeah, tonight we're going to be making her Tuscan soup and uh, pray for me. See you on the other Okay, so I'm going to sound off the ingredients that you're going to need. If you're going to be making your breadcrumbs from scratch, you're going to want a loaf of ciabatta seasoned or unseasoned, dealer's choice. You're gonna want, how many did she say? One and a half pounds of chicken sausage. Again, I'm doing vegan sausage. So I did two packs of Beyond Meat sausage. Again, dealer's choice. You're gonna need some heavy cream. You're gonna need some booter. You're gonna need some rosemary, thyme, and oregano. I've opted to use PS Flavor Blends Mambo Italiano, which has all of the above and is killer i will link it below you're going to need some pepper some salt some olive oil you're going to need um two quarts of chicken stock or veggie stock dealer's choice my mom calls for two bunches of organic kale i can't stand kale i can't stand this lighting either so i'm doing spinach again dealer's choice one large yellow onion one red bell pepper, three cloves of garlic, and six large red taters. If you have a Dutch oven, pull it out. If not, go ahead and get uh, the largest pot you have and a saute pan. If you're making, oh, and um, Parmesan cheese. So if you are making your breadcrumbs from scratch, um, you can either do them in the oven, in which case get out your baking sheet, I'm doing the stovetop version. My mom has directions for both. So let's get into it. Pray for me. <sighs> Cheers, y'all. Pray for me. First thing we're going to do is make our croutons. Why don't I just go ahead and get that out of the shop? Look at this beautiful bitch right here. First thing we're doing is making our croutons. So the recipe calls for whether you're doing it in the oven or on the stove top, four to six cups of bread cubes. So essentially you're gonna use an entire full loaf of ciabatta. So what I'm gonna do is cut it in half first. Move her to the side. We're gonna slice. All right, y'all, so for your croutons, you want two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, salt and pepper. You want to keep your stovetop on medium heat and melt down that butter and oil. Once it's melted down, you're gonna toss in your breadcrumbs. You're gonna let them sit on one side and soak up said mixture for about seven minutes and then turn them over for another seven minutes until they're crunchy. Set them aside and get to the rest. So you want a golden brown moment? We will see you in 15 minutes. All right, y'all, next up is potatoes. You're going to slice your potatoes into thin Herbs. slices, and then you're going to then cut them again into half moons. So you will see a photo of that in the link to the recipe down below, but essentially slice them as thin as you can and then cut them in half again, and then we're gonna parboil them for three to five minutes. I did it. So for your red bell pepper and your large yellow onion, you just want to get a small dice, 
and mince your three to four cloves of garlic depending upon how garlicky you want everything. All right, y'all, so now it's time to put in our veggies now that our spices have gone aromatic. So we're gonna put in our red bell pepper and onion. And peppers, onions, garlic, and spices are working. All right, y'all, so your potatoes are boiled, they're set aside. And now you have let your red pepper, your Italian spices, your olive oil, salt and pepper get aromatic, and you've added your red bell pepper and your onion. You're gonna let those saute. And then after a minute or two, you're gonna add your garlic and let that work for about another two to three minutes. All right, y'all, I've opted for impossible sausage. So, um, well, half of it's impossible and half of it's beyond sausage. Um, one is Italian flavored and one is spicy. So in this case, there's no casings to remove, but because it's obviously a little bit of a different consistency than real sausage, um, it's not gonna break apart quite as easily as it would if it were real meat in the pan. So I'm dicing it extra small before I add it to my veggies. All right, y'all, so we have sauteed our veggies and we are now adding our sausage. If you are doing chicken sausage as the recipe calls for, you're going to want to put this in the pot and break it apart. There's no broth or water in the pot yet. You're just cooking down your sausage. If you're doing vegan sausage, it's obviously gonna take a lot less time, um, but you wanna break it apart very carefully so it doesn't become mush. And you're gonna let that work for, depending upon if you're doing real sausage, 15 minutes. If you're doing vegan sausage, maybe actually 20 minutes. All right, y'all, we are about halfway into cooking down our sausage mixture. Again, I'm doing Beyond Sausage, but uh, it's cooking down nicely. It's breaking apart really nicely. And next we are going to add uh, your kale, in this case I'm doing spinach, so you're going to add that in without broth. You're going to let it wilt, and then you're going to add, you're going to add half of your spinach, let it wilt, and or kale, then add the other half, let it wilt, and then we're going to add our liquids. Alright, well, this is what we're working with, with the spinach. Really pretty. So once your spinach is uh, completely wilted, or your kale, whatever grain you're using, we're going to add our stock, our potatoes, and we're going to reduce down from there. Potatoes, two quarts of chicken or veggie stock, dealer's choice. All right, I'm working with something like this. We are cooking it down for another 10 minutes, then we're gonna add our cream, let it simmer 15, and then we are done. All right, y'all, so we are simmered down. We are adding our cream. You're on low heat at this point. Stir in your cream. Season one last time to taste. Put your lid on, we're simmering for 10 to 15. See you on the other side. Okay. Never again. I don't know how people do this without somebody fucking filming them. This is torture.